Hey guys, my name is Chris and welcome back to Haywood Homestead. Today I'm going to be showing you what our cash envelopes are looking like as of April 17th, which is today, Sunday. I'm not sure how quick I can get this video uploaded. It might not be until uh, Monday morning when you see it um, due to a uh, slow internet connection where I'm here, where I'm at, and then plus um, having to do some other things to end this weekend uh, before our new work week starts. Um, I had done this video though a couple days ago on a new digital camera that we had bought. Well, long story short, I'm not really happy with it and so we're sending it back and getting our money back for it. And I'm probably gonna just upgrade my iPhone so that I have better uh, video quality with the newer iPhone. But um, I'll let you know what I decide with that. So, as you can see, there's something new here that you haven't seen before. This is a, it's like a plastic, hard plastic uh, binder that I purchased off Amazon. And it was probably 7 or $8. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below if you're interested in it. Um, but I went ahead and sw uh, moved all of my cash envelopes into these plastic envelopes that the binder came with. It came with several, and I'm only using just a few of them right now, but at some point I will add more, um, so, uh, but anyway, that came with labels as well. It came with blue ones and red ones, and I just decided to use the blue ones for the categories that I have currently, and then on the front, I also had some stickers made of my channel's logo, so I thought this would be something cool uh, to stick on some items when I'm doing my budgeting videos. So, since I had done the video already of stuffing the envelopes and the video froze up and I couldn't use it, uh, I wanted to at least show you um, what everything is at currently. And so, I'm going to go over uh, each category with you and show you how much we have built up. So, starting off is in this little uh, notebook here, I keep a list of our current sinking funds. Hopefully you can see this okay. Um, so right now we have a vacation category. We have an uh, extra mortgage principal category, which is, um, I don't carry this one in cash. This is an electronic envelope, you might say. Uh, then we have a pet health envelope. We have an envelope for gifts. And then my wife Amanda has an envelope uh, for money that she gets each week. So we'll start off with um, the first category here in our binder, which is pet health. And so I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna go over what's in here. I hope all of you had a great uh, weekend uh, and a great holiday with your families and friends and that um, you had a great day today. So for pet health, on the 14th, I added and I'm hoping you guys can see this. I have my camera up pretty high to avoid blurriness. Um, but on the 14th, I added 80, which gave us an ending balance of 440 uh, for pet health. So I'm going to go ahead and count that to see if this is accurate. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 220, 240, 260, 280, 300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40. So 440 dollars is what we have right now for pet health. Um, Amelia, our youngest miniature schnauzer, is still needing her shots for the year and haven't done that yet. Um, so that balance will go down once that's done. As well as um, I have to buy them their new heartworm, tick, and flea medicines. They're getting low on those, so that's kind of expensive too because I buy. Uh, several months worth at a time. So that's pet health. Next we have is uh, our gifts. And, and then I didn't tell you what we're putting into pet health each week. So on our little notebook here, I'm sorry I'm dealing with a small workspace here. Um, pet health, we're putting in 40 a week. So the envelopes that I stuffed on the 14th are from uh, the 1st of April through the 14th, which is two weeks worth. 
So all of the weekly amounts that I stuffed is times two for two weeks. So pet health, again, got 40 a week, but I added 80 on the 14th. And then gifts, which is where we are now, we put 10 in this a week, so now we're at 20. So looking at the little tracker card here, it shows the 14th. I did a deposit of 20, which gave us a balance of 100. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Um, we use the gifts envelope for any random occasion, uh, any random person or someone in need of money. Uh, just whenever we feel the need to give, uh, we put this money aside for that. So gifts is good to go. I'm currently stuffing these every two weeks. It just works right now best for our budget as, as well as getting to the ATM. Uh, but if you would like to see this done weekly, I can definitely make that adjustment. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, our next category is vacation. I've mentioned a couple times in uh, previous videos, my wife and I are planning to take a cruise to the Bahamas uh, this coming fall. And the total trip, it's a five-day cruise, was just over $900. Um, initially, we had to make a deposit of 200 and something and so now our balance left for the cruise is around 700 and something I don't have the exact numbers in front of me uh, But the balance is due in July and so I'm putting money aside for that and then at some point I'm gonna have to start saving for our spending money So vacation our budget for that right now is 30 a week, so on the 14th I put in 60 so we have <clears throat> $340 so far. So this is coming along pretty nicely. All right, so let's make sure we have 340. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, $340. So we're definitely excited about that. Our cruise, um, Again, when you see this video come up, it might be Monday morning. Our anniversary is the 18th. Uh, we'll be married 13 years, and so I feel like the cruise is kind of our anniversary gift to each other. So that's coming along pretty nicely. Uh, next category is uh, my wife, Amanda. Now she gets um, <clears throat> money each week. Uh, if she wants to eat out for lunch at her job or if she wants to save some money for clothes or anything she wants to spend money on, um, she can do that with the money she gets. And so her, um, the budget for her right now is 30 a week. So I added 60 uh, to her envelope, but she was anxious to get her money and I went ahead and gave her her money after I did the first video, uh, not knowing that it wasn't going to um, upload correctly and so this envelope is back empty again but uh, you'll get to see the money for her on next stuffing before I um, give it to her um, and then again this plastic binder here came with several of these little sort of like a zip lock um, bag uh, design and they're pretty sturdy they're supposed to be waterproof and um, it came with several of these plus the several labels that I to told you about and if you're interested in this again I'll leave the link in the description box below so that is it guys for right now and then the other uh, envelope I didn't want to leave out is uh, we we're saving right now extra money to go toward our principal for our new mortgage however we're in a construction phase and we're only paying interest payments right now but once the construction portion transfers or turns into a permanent mortgage, then we can start paying extra toward the principal. And so right now I'm putting 20 aside each week for that. So I moved 40 from our checking account into uh, this um, account that's uh, marked for uh, mortgage principal payments. So I did that. But um, that's all we have right now. I do plan on adding more funds, more categories in the future, and hopefully we'll have more to stuff. 
But I hope all of you are doing great. I hope your families are well. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so and leave me a like. And I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.